Welcome to the Cowboy State. We're in beautiful Wyoming, about 30 miles from Cody, Wyoming, in the Best of the West headquarters. I'm set up to meet with Dean Taylor and uh, pick up my new Best of the West series rifle in a 6.5-284 caliber, top with a 5-20 Blue Diamond Huskama, of course. And I got a limited entry mule deer tag in my pocket. And uh, I'm pretty excited. It's supposed to be a really good hunt. I, got ma I had maximum points for Wyoming for deer. And uh, this was the area that I was told to uh, to use my points on. So I'm pretty excited. I think we're gonna have a really good hunt. And uh, I'm looking forward to chasing big bucks around. I love mule deer. All right, Rex. I'm excited, to man. You with your new Best of the West Signature Series ride. I'm excited, man. Check that thing out. That thing looks nice. Yeah, we just finished it up for you. Rex is down for a mule deer hunt in the rut. One of our units down here. It opens up tomorrow, and we're gonna head out and go we'll see if we can put her to work. I think this is like the best gun I've ever touched. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, man. Yeah. Thank you guys, this yep. thing's phenomenal. Our best the West Signature Series rifle. Of course, topped with the 5 to 20 Huskama scope. Left handed, just for red. Oh, yeah. Still our action? That's right. Yep, it's quite the beautiful. machine. Yeah. yeah what all is. we got in here? Nice Starlight gun case? Yeah, got the case. Got comes with the four custom turrets, wind meter, scope, scope coat. coat, ammunition. Oh, yeah, we're rocking and rolling. Everything you need to get her done. Yeah, let's go put that baby to work on a big old muley. I'm ready to. Get going, man. I'm excited. This is supposed to be a good hunt. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good time. The deer are just getting ready, just getting starting to rut. And I think we'll have a good time. Looking Let's go. To it. All right. We're excited. We left the house Mall headquarters, grabbed a few melons on the way, headed to set up camp, and sighted in the rifle. Quarter yards. Hold right on that watermelon. All right, here we go. Come up to you and hold a minute. Hold it again. Jack another one and hit the melon now. See if it'll blow up. Boom! Smoked it. Yeah, I think we zeroed. That's a pretty sweet shooting gun. We just picked it up last night. Shot it on a rock at, what was the rock, 590? Yeah. 590, we were within a couple inches. Went to the melons and uh, drilled the watermelon. Yeah, and then right over to the melon and, and smoked it. Smoked the honeydew. I think we're ready to go kill a big mule deer. I think so too. Let's go get it done. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> this is awesome. To complement our 5 to 20 power scope, Huskama Optics is proud to introduce its new smaller and lightweight 3 to 12 power scope. From varmint hunting and lightweight backpacking to heavier calibers for the deadliest game, this scope is built for an even wider variety of applications. With all the high quality lens coating and durability you've come to expect from a Huskama scope topped with turrets customized to fit your ballistic profile. The new 3-12 from Huskama Optics, the only patented windage enabled yardage turrets on the market. It doesn't matter what sort of adventure you're after. Whether it's big game deep in the backcountry, a day of fishing out in the water, or an overnight in the great outdoors. At Sportsman's Warehouse, we've got the gear in here for what you need out there. Gear up for your adventure at one of over 45 locations or shop online. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. We're all seeking adventure and there's no better place to find it than Grays Harbor County. From our South Beach, to our north coast and the Quinault Rainforest. 
Grays Harbor County. Always changing, always unforgettable. Visit our website or call us for your next getaway. Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Grays Harbor Tourism. Come visit Grays Harbor, where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse near you today. Brought to you in part by Huskamaw Long Range Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. And Horns and Hooks Magazine. Subscribe today at hornsandhooks.com, where outdoor adventures await 24 hours a day. That first day, we covered a lot of ground, seen a lot of cool country, and found some decent deer, just not the one we were after. Pretty neat badlands up here. Well, it's the evening of our first day here, uh, our first full day. We've seen quite a few bucks here tonight, you know. Nice bucks, just not what we're looking for here in this unit. But uh, it looks like they're starting to rut. So after this little snow we got this afternoon, hopefully tomorrow morning, that'll be a giant big old moss back just walking out one of these ridge lanes and we're gonna just drop him <laughs> I fell asleep pretty quick and evidently I was trying to compete with the generator because I was sawing some serious logs. Do I storm that bad already? It can only get worse. We love you, Rick. The next morning, the temperature dropped dramatically as we climbed an elevation. It got downright cold. We got up there, looked around. There weren't very many deer to be found out in the high country. Snow and cold weather had pushed the deer down, so we decided to head back into the valley below where we'd been seeing tons of deer in hopes that a big buck would show itself. We got a pretty good buck spotted. He's a four by five, about 25 inch. It's a tough decision. He'd probably be the biggest buck I've ever killed. We're gonna get up to this tree. It's about 650 from the buck and uh, see what happens. We've got a pretty strong wind, but Dean's a heck of a spotter, so we can get it done.
just gave us a slip up in that draw behind me on the ridge just as we were getting set up to take the shot he slipped over the hill but uh, it's only about two o'clock so we're gonna look at the map and make a game plan and see if we can get a little closer the wind's blowing right towards him from our vantage so we'll see what we can figure out and hopefully we can get a shot at him before dark we played the wind and moved around the back side of the hill to try to get around above him we moved quickly but cautiously trying not to spook the entire herd Immediately after we got over the rise, we started seeing deer, but just not the buck. We looked everywhere, trying to find this big buck. We just couldn't find him. The last thing we wanted to do was spook one of the does or the smaller bucks and blow him out of there. Broadband limb savers are the most effective limb savers ever created. They install in seconds and come in a variety of custom colors. Also new from Limb Saver is the AWS Modular Stabilizer. Customize and tune your bow by adding or subtracting nodes and adjusting the sliding precision weight. When you need maximum performance, accuracy, and reliability, there's only one choice. Limb Saver. Legendary performance. We crested the final ridge, the sun shining right in our faces. The wind was in our face too, but uh, the sun made it so difficult to see. We just couldn't pick him out of all the crevices and cracks and there were deer everywhere. We just couldn't find the big buck. We knew he had to be right there. And of course, the last deer that we seen was this big buck. He bounded away up the top of the ridge, looked back really quick. I got set up and on him, but he didn't give me enough time to to make sure that it was the big buck that I wanted with this great tag. So, needless to say, off he went. Where'd he go, buddy? His daddy just gave us the slip. Hopefully. He's either over this little rise or we'll find him right back here tomorrow. He's a real nice buck. 170 class 4x5. That's what we're after. That's why they call it hunting, not killing. Stay tuned, we'll be chasing more big bucks in western Wyoming. So we're just here for hooks, right? <laughs> Once again, we're here with JR at our local Sportsman's Warehouse for a Hooked on Gear segment, and today we're going to be talking about knives. What do you got for us, buddy? So I've got five basic knives that you can look for. Steel quality is one thing, but the most important thing on a hunting knife is handle. If it doesn't fit right, if it's too small or too big, your hand's going to cramp, you're never going to use the yep. knife. Uh, the other thing to look for is steel quality. Something like this guy right here, you've got a uh, high carbon steel. This is made out of D2, it's Knives of Alaska. It's their Trekker series. And one thing that I really like about it is it's blaze orange. I'm the guy who does this, mm -hmm. gets it, and then thunks it into a tree, walks away and says, I forgot my knife, I had yep. to walk, turn around and go get it. Um, the, knife, the give and take on a high carbon steel is, it holds an edge for a very long time. It can be hard to resharpen yeah. if, you're not, if you don't know what you're doing with it. The other end is a stainless steel. Something like these outdoor outdoor edge knives. You've got the swing blade, which is wicked cool. I've actually seen this in action. You're gonna make an incision, flip it, and it just zips right up. You don't have to worry about putting your fingers there to 
get past the uh, intestines and everything. That's a nice knife for me. Yeah, <laughs> same here. Uh, then you have the Cody pack. The nice part is on this one, you've got the caper, which is very important, especially mm -hmm. when you're quartering, but you've also got a nice gut hook skinner. It's got the gut hook on it, nice bevel on That's it. a fantastic pack. It is, it is. And then you have the standard bucks. Uh, they have the pack light case, uh, which comes with your skinner, your caper, and then you're also getting a gut hook with it. The other thing that's really cool is the Buck 110 Hunter. This guy right here is probably the standard when it comes to folding knives. Been around forever. Exactly, as a matter of fact, it's been around for 50 years. I mean, I'm, uh, I remember my grandpa with mm -hmm. about three of these knives in his pocket. <laughs> yep. Come on down to your local sportsman's warehouse, ask for JR, he's the man, he'll hook you up. We got this nice 4x5 spotted again. It's the fourth morning. This buck gave us a slip the second evening. We're gonna go try to kill him right now. He's a nice buck. We moved in. I got set up. Dean gave me the yardage and I dialed in. Just as I dialed in, got my finger ready to squeeze the trigger, the whole herd took off. Luckily, they stopped and looked back for just long enough. <laughs> Dean gave me another yardage. I dialed in my Huskama. And squeeze the trigger. Good hit. Turn back. Jumped up. Run to the right. Got to try to find him again. More to your right. More to your right. Okay. More to your right. I found him. I found him. He's 685. One click above 675. Get hard. He's down over there. Is he? Yeah. Oh yeah! We got him. Nice shot. That's, that's a nice buck, wanted. man. Yeah, that's the one we wanted. Oh man, we've been chasing this buck for three days. He's a nice buck. He is. He yeah, is. it's a nice buck. Oh, 700 yards. Yeah. Yeah. Started out at the first shot was 605, and got him again at seven. Two shots. Good kill. Smoked him. Hit him a little far back the first time. I don't think I held enough wind. Right. Two shots, he's down right there in that draw. He's a nice buck. Hey, thank you so much for your help, man. You bet, buddy. This has been a blast. Yeah, I man. love it. Let's go down here and check him out. Oh, nice I can't buck. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Grays Harbor Tourism. Come visit Grays Harbor, where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse near you today. Brought to you in part by Huskama Long Range Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Youth Outdoors Unlimited. Help a disadvantaged youth experience the outdoors by becoming a sponsor member and get a free subscription to Horns and Hooks magazine. North Fork Customs. Quality rods built one at a time. For all your boating and personal watercraft needs, visit the great folks at U.S. Marine Sales and Service. Your 
number one Northwest Yamaha dealer. Come see our selection of power boats, jet skis, outboard engines, and more. With a fully certified service department, courteous staff, and impressive selection of parts and accessories. Family owned and operated for over 20 years. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm going to see this baby. Yeah. How's it look? We good. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah. What a beautiful buck. I can't thank you enough, Dean, for all your all you've done for us on this trip. It's been awesome, man. Oh, you bet, man. Thank you, man. We spotted this guy first thing this morning. He had tumbleweed in his rack. <laughs> this guy gave us a slip two days ago. We were in on him. He was rutting some does. Went in behind this little rise behind me. We came in from the backside and he gave us a slip. Yeah. We looked for him all day yesterday off and on and and we found him this morning and He's the best buck we've seen by far. It's a great unit, lots of nice bucks, but this is the best one we've seen, and if you kill the best one you've seen, you can't ask for much more than that. Heck no, man. Got to get this baby caped out and take him to Alex Jennings' Callus Taxidermy, have him make this baby look really nice. That's good, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, congratulations, buddy. Thank you, man. Yeah, it was a good time. No, I can't wait to come back or have you over and return the favor, man. We'll do some yeah. fishing or something. You bet, sounds good. Visit us at longrangestore.com and check out our new Huskama 10x42 lightweight durable binoculars these things are awesome same glass quality we have in our scopes you won't be disappointed they're they're unreal they they're are they're great man so great get optics. online check them out thanks for watching this episode of horns and hooks tv Hard work. What a life. I know, man. My feet hurt. How about yours? Man, Dean, this is the life. Yeah, you know, like it's raining over here, and the news says the wind's gonna be like maybe 40 miles per hour. I don't even know if I'm, I might not even open up the shop today. Are you kidding me? I'm over here busting my butt hunting, and you can't even make it to work? Well, I mean, that's, that's no kind of excuse. You're pretty much on vacation right now, and I saw that buck you got, I mean, I got pretty big. This is no vacation, let me tell you. You got lots of stuff to do. You gotta get ready for the sportsman show, you got magazine articles to write. I got. All right. I, 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 I don't have to take this. That's all I do is work. Please don't be upset with me. I'm trying really hard over here. All right. I don't want to hear any more excuses. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll... Oh, man, <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs>